You probably know them. They are the Dolores Umbridges of this world. They are the people who raise the most spoiled children ever. They have an entire subreddit devoted to them and the entire world agrees that we need to press the big red button to nuke them of this planet. But why do they exist? So today on your favorite YouTube channel, I'm answering the question, where do entitled parents come from and why the f do they exist? Welcome to Brains Applied. Psychologists define entitlement as the belief that one deserves a valued resource or positive outcome. And we have to differentiate between two kinds of entitlement. Normal entitlement and narcissistic entitlement. In normal entitlement, people's high self-esteem is based on their actual accomplishments. And it applies only to certain abilities. For example, Conor McGregor and his ego will think that he deserves to win a UFC match because that's what he normally does. But he probably wouldn't brag so much about his chess playing skills. Kim Kardashian can often expect a special treatment at a restaurant because she achieved a lot. Or at least because she's famous. And that's what we do with famous people. We look up to them and treat them like gods. But she probably wouldn't expect to be hired at NASA as an engineer just because she wants it. People that suffer from narcissistic entitlement however have an overkill of entitlement and they think that they deserve more than others, that they are more important than others and this is based on unrealistic ideas and often goes to the expense of other people. But on to the real evil. Why do people become narcissists? The answer is their parents. <laughs> Little children are narcissistic devils. It's a part of their psychological development. They have to learn to have empathy for others while maintaining their self-respect. But somewhere along this path, shit hits the fan. My specialized literature mentioned two hypotheses of where in the human mind this narcissism can come from. The psychoanalytical theory holds that narcissistic people might have low self-esteem and that they feel very vulnerable. Their parents often are narcissists themselves. They want their children to excel at everything just so they can have the bragging rights. Those parents have unrealistic demands and put their children down if the expectations are not met. Therefore, psychologists think that this entitlement is a reaction to compensate for earlier negative experiences. Those people try to gain the approval that they never had before. The social learning theory is more about closeted narcissists. The parents don't like to be in the spotlights themselves, so instead they praise their children for being perfect and claim that their brats are entitled to have better stuff than others. These children often are talented, but their parents take it so far that their children start to take over their views and ideas. Research has shown that the latter hypothesis is more likely. It is worth noting though that narcissism doesn't just come from parents that are overvaluing their children. Character traits also do have an important role. And research has shown that when you are coming from a higher class in society, you're a bit more likely to be a narcissist. And that is all I wanted to tell you today. Now, if you guys don't know yet, my mom is very entitled and she wants me to become a very good and famous YouTuber. So if you don't want to get karate chopped by my mom, I would suggest you press the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. And I will see you guys later.